Hello everyone. Uh, this is an inequalities data sufficiency question for GMAT practice. The question's original source is GMAT Club and it was provided by Crack Verbal on GMAT Club. The reason we are discussing this question is because it's a beautiful inequalities question which demonstrates many of the basics of inequalities. So in this video, we will try to solve this question by three different methods. Actually, I will post different videos for each of the methods. We will start by solving this problem with algebra. We'll move on to take some values and solve this question. This method is also very important because in GMAT sometimes that's all you get the time to do is take on values and solve questions. The third, we will use a number line method and we'll also talk about where this method is more applicable number line method. So let's get started. The method we will start by looking at the question statement and try to see if we can simplify it. So the question is asking is absolute value of x plus y greater than absolute value of x minus y. Left hand side is positive and right hand side is also positive. So we can easily square them. Now x plus y whole square is same as mod of x plus y square because both are positive quantities and um, a square is a square. So now if we simplify, we get, so we can easily cancel these out and we get 4xy greater than zero, which means xy is greater than zero. So the question is really asking us, is xy greater than zero? This is what we have to figure out uh, to answer this question. We can get two kinds of answers. Is xy greater than zero? If we get yes, then we have the answer to the question. We can also get a no. If we get a distinct no to the asked question, then also the data is sufficient to answer the question. So let's take statement A. Statement A says mod x is greater than mod y. Right. What does that say about x or y? We actually cannot tell. Right. So if I take different values of x and y such that mod x is greater than mod y. So let's take these. Let's take minus 6 and 4. So mod x is 6. Y is 4. Is x y greater than 0? The answer is no. If we take minus 6 and minus 4, this kind of remains the same and here we get yes x y is greater than 0. So we are getting two different kinds of answers. Hence this is insufficient to solve the question. Now let's take statement number b. Statement number b we are given that x minus y is less than mod x. What does that mean? Again we can square both sides because either of the sides is positive or at least non-negative, right? So this becomes less than x square, x square, x square cancels out and we get y square is less than 2xy or in other words, 2xy is greater than y square, which means that xy is greater than zero because y square is positive. We get a distinct yes to the asked question is xy greater than zero and hence this is sufficient. I hope you understand this method. If you have any questions around this method, please uh, feel free to write us or leave a comment.